since we first set foot on Inazuma. So many things have happened since then. Yeah, we've definitely made some progress on our journey. So, where should we go today? Huh? What's up? don't have a vision after all. Seems like I've mistaken you for someone else. At the very least, you should make sure you've got the right person before you go attacking them. No, wait! Even when you've got the right person, you shouldn't go attacking them out of the blue. It's dangerous! Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? He carries a sword just like you. I've also heard that he possesses an animo vision. That's none of your business. <sighs> Never mind. You don't look like you know anything anyway. I'm wasting my time. What the heck is this guy's problem? Coming around here, waving that weird sword in our faces, and he didn't even apologize. Seems like a real nutcase. Well, one thing's for sure. No why are we telling him anything about Kazuha? Right? Paimon has a feeling, though, that even if this guy gets to challenge Kazuha to a duel, he won't be able to beat him. Anyway, just to be on the safe side, we should go find Kazuha right away and tell him to watch his back. Oh? What kind of hunch? A special connection? You mean, beyond already knowing each other? Hmm... Yeah, maybe a little. Uh, but then again, most people look pretty much the same once they start fighting, so that doesn't really prove anything. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's go tell Kazuha so we won't get into any danger. Paimon heard that the Crux fleet is stocking up in Rito at the moment. Let's look for him there. Looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. <laughs> well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time, as soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumans, all of them wanting to know about Kazuha. If it's because of that battle on Nizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too, but I don't see her getting this kind of attention. Kazuha keeps to himself most of the time. In fact, there are times when he doesn't even listen to the captain, but she just laughs it off. <laughs> oh, so you still don't know what he did. I've heard bits and pieces. Something about him blocking the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. Is it really as big a deal as everyone's making it out to be? Really? Wow. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. <laughs> In that case, his newfound stardom is well-deserved. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. I thought they'd come to arrest him at first. Turns out they couldn't have been friendlier to him. Seems like they really respect the guy. Just a little while ago, this would have been completely unimaginable. Guess we'll go pay a visit to the Tenryo Commission. All right, then. I'll just stay here and carry on trying to fend off the crowd.
Oh, it's you. Greetings. We were just discussing the repealing of the Vision Hunt Decree. Since you're here, you're very welcome to listen in on the conversation. We invited Mr. Kaidahara here to extend a gesture of goodwill on behalf of the Shogunate. Your hard work has secured for us the agreeable state of affairs that we now enjoy. Also, I've been granted the chance to correct my clan's past mistakes, and for that, I'm deeply grateful. The Almighty Shogun has issued a large array of directives aimed at resolving, or at least easing, the tensions that have built up over the years. The Tri Commission has made the recommendation to use this opportunity to restore the honor of the Kaidahara name. Regarding the history of the Kaidahara clan, I trust that you're already somewhat informed? In short, there was once a group of select bladesmiths who served the Shogun directly, responsible for upholding and further developing the traditional blade forging arts of the Almighty Shogun. The Kaidahara clan belonged to this class. But there came a time when some of these bladesmiths revolted and fled to Snezhnaya. Both the Kaidahara and Kamisato clans were held accountable for lax oversight and entered a period of great turmoil. We later learned that the whole misadventure had been secretly orchestrated by the Fatui. Attributing all of the blame to the Kamisato and Kaidahara clans was neither proper nor just. Considering Mr. Kaidahara has once more made an outstanding contribution to Inazuma, the Almighty Shogun believes he should not only be rewarded for his achievements, but also receive recompense for the excessive punishment borne by his clan in the past. In the interest of preventing further harassment of the bladesmith clans by the Fatui, we chose not to publicly release the findings of our investigations into these matters. We trust you can understand why this was necessary. This is a true honor. I am delighted to be in a position to receive the goodwill of the Almighty Shogun, and the Shogunate at large. However, would I be correct to assume that this magnanimous gesture does not come without some strings attached? I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. We seek only to correct a past injustice. With the Kaidahara clan's reputation and occupation restored, the Kaidaharas will be bladesmiths once more, and your wanderings will finally come to an end. You will be able to lead a safe and prosperous life in Inazuma City with the Almighty Shogun's blessing and full support of the Shogunate. I have grown accustomed to life among the elements. I fear I would no longer feel at home behind the tall walls of a stately abode. Yet my ancestors did indeed take great pride in the name of Kaidahara, and the art of blade-making for which it stood. I do have a responsibility to restore their honor. I sense some hesitation in your words. Should you accept this offer, I imagine many of the malicious rumors currently circulating through the populace will disappear. Malicious rumors? All we heard on the way here was so much praise that we almost wondered whether there was another Kaidahara Kazuha in town. Well, to some, the Muso no Hitotachi is something that can never be defeated. They cannot accept the idea that Mr. Kaidahara really parried the Shogun's strike. Also, eyewitnesses saw him using the power of Electro in addition to that of Animo. As a result, the falsehood that Kaidahara Kazuha was using a delusion began to spread. What? But... that doesn't make sense! Using a delusion turns you old and frail, and Kazuha still looks fine! That is correct. However, to some people, the idea of a single person wielding two elements at once is a more inconceivable notion still. This is just one of many similar rumors. I am very uncomfortable with being the subject of public discussion, no matter whether it brings suspicion or stardom my way. But perhaps, if the Shogunate is willing to publicly support me, this situation will blow over more quickly. This is precisely why I encourage you to give our offer some serious thought. It stands to benefit all of us. Hmm. Please allow me some time to consider. In fact, let us put this discussion on hold for the moment. Well then, what brings the two of you here? Yikes! We nearly forgot about the most important thing! Why would such a dangerous individual be looking for me? No. This puzzles me as much as it does you. My fighting forms were taught to me by my family, based on techniques originally developed for blade testing. 
We undergo rigorous training to standardize every motion the blade is put through so that each can be fairly assessed for quality. Over time, these techniques came to form something of a Kaidahara sword art, focused on blade testing, but with a full repertoire of combat forms. Those forms are quite different from the more practical ones typically used by samurai in battle. So it's hard to imagine that the similarity you speak of was coincidence alone. All the more reason to watch your back! This guy was a serious nutcase. Indeed. He sounds highly aggressive. Anyone he targets is at risk of serious injury. Or worse. In that case, I will send some men out immediately to search for him. Thank you. I must say, I am now very curious about this matter. And I will also need some time to consider your offer. I will first join the Traveler in investigating the one who attacked her, then give you a conclusive answer upon my return. Very well. Uh, please stay safe. Come on. Let's go and track down your aggressor. The detective agency knows the most about what goes on in town. Let's see what Ryuji has to say. Thank <laughs> you. 